Hey everyone, it's me again. Um, as promised, the next video I'm going to talk about is um, an at-home saliva test. So the reason this one came about is to do some testing just to make sure I don't have Cushing's. I did a 24-hour urine test for that and it came up negative. So what they do is if they still suspect it based on symptoms and, and um, your particular weight gain, they send you home with the instructions. And then they give you the specimen bag, and inside of it, they give you two of these little tubes. One of them is currently in the freezer, and a label. Uh, so the instructions say, you know, don't eat or drink for 30 minutes before. Uh, it says to relax before you do this, but I, I would say don't let that preclude you from taking this test. Um, don't brush your teeth right before don't have anything on your face. Um, and they have you do this between 11 and midnight, which is actually really hard for me having narcolepsy. I was already falling asleep on the chair upstairs. And what it says is um, you have to hold this. It doesn't taste very good. But it doesn't really taste like anything in particular. It's like a cotton sponge that you have to hold in your mouth for two minutes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you the rest. Okay, so once you're done, put this between your teeth and put it in a tube. Don't let your lips touch it. Put this down for a second. And then you just put the cap back on. Now when you're doing this, you can't see this too well, but you, there's one lip here and one lip here. There's two separate caps, so make sure that you only take up off the top cap. Also, uh, make sure that when you're putting the sponge in your mouth, you don't touch your lips to the, the case, and when you're putting it back in, you don't touch your lips to it. So as you saw, I put it in between my teeth, and then you let it fall in. The other important thing, I actually had to do this test. This is my second time, because the first time around, first of all, the doctor didn't tell me that I should freeze this. So I would suggest, regardless of what your doctor says, call the lab that you're going to be dropping it off at, and they'll tell you exactly how they want you to store it. The instructions say refrigerate, and the lab says freeze, because that's how they keep them over there. In addition, the instructions say to get it to the lab within three days. My lab wants it within two. So I did one test last night, one test tonight, and then I'll be dropping those off tomorrow morning. So then the next thing I have to do is I have to take a little pill that actually increases your cortisol levels. And tomorrow morning when the lab opens at 7, I need to go and get a blood draw. So I'll go ahead and show you that next part. Okay, so here we are again. One thing I forgot to mention about the saliva test, just make sure that you put your information on the sticker they give you on the tube before you stick it in the freezer. It's got date and time of the collection. Next, I'm going to take this teeny tiny little tablet to increase my cortisol levels. Um, most important thing about that is just to remember to take it after you've done the saliva test because you don't want to increase your levels before you take the test. And then tomorrow morning I'll go get a blood draw. In a couple weeks I'll have my results. Thanks so much everyone. See you next time.